I met up again after a year with Derek and Linda Liddell, who had just collected their brand new teardrop trailer. They had stopped in at the lovely Tortoni guest farm in the Eastern Cape and agreed to give us a walkthrough of their new pride and joy. Yeah, it's only three days, two days old. Uh, it had its first wash through the mud yesterday. Is this an off-road trailer? Yes, it is. Okay. Right, where do you want to start? Okay, let's do the kitchen, yeah. or the galley as they call it. <laughs> Yeah, so very basic, but everything you need. Plug points with USB points, two USB points, small little galley for your stuff you use all the time. Yeah. And the fridge, of course, but the fridge is optional extra. This is one I've had for many years. And then a little cupboard here to be mod modified as you would wish, or could have it done as well, I suppose. Uh, water on tap. And have you got a water tank? Yeah, got a 50, 50 litre water tank. Um, two, two plate uh, gas stove. Yeah, that's about that. Um, fully closes, latches closed down. Um, and that's about as difficult as that is. And hook up and go. And hook up and go. And close the doors. <laughs> Yeah, then we've got the awning um, that comes, we can optional extras of course, side tent and everything else on it. Yeah, so you've got the doors, both sides. Um. you got doors on both sides? Both sides, either side, very convenient to get in and out of it. Don't have to get over each other to get out. <laughs> yeah, so as you come inside, it's a full queen size mattress. Right. Um, extra length, they say. And it also has got 12 volt lighting right around in the galley as well as both sides. Um, yeah, coming around to the front. So, in the front side, of course, you've got your spare wheel high mounted. So, if you're in the mud to get it off, there's no problem. Then you've got the nose cone here, which has got a 5 kilo gas bottle in it for the stove. Um, 75 amp hour battery with a CTEC battery manager or maintenance system. Yeah, so that's yeah, a little carry case here for a bag of wood or two if you need it. Just your normal jockey wheel. This one is brake assisted, um, that's optional extra. So you've got the handbrake here and the brakes for. And you happy with that uh, brake assisting? Yeah, so far. Um, no complaints after two days. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then the other side is pretty much exactly the same. The door. Yes, I think that's absolutely brilliant. You don't have to climb over the wife when you want to go outside. That's it. And then you also got the screens plus the, the canvas door. So on hot Can nights. Show me that? Yeah, sure. Um, let me just on clip the first one. Like that. You can zip that down and close it for privacy. Yeah, so that's fully private once that's closed. And then, just to, if you keep that one open and you want to close it just and have a nice breeze going through and keep the mozzies and uh, all the insects and stuff away, that's that. Yeah, so yeah, we got a, on both sides, is and hers, all your gadgets and whatever, goes in there, there's one on that side as well, exactly the same, then behind your head, yeah, packing space, whatever you want, at the moment we're just using it for clothing, so there's one on both sides, like that, then again, the plugs, as we mentioned earlier, those plugs on the inside, what is it, 220 and? Yeah, there's all just 220. Okay, um, no yeah. 12 volts inside? No 12 volts at this stage, but that I will do at a later stage. Okay, but you have got some charging points. Yes. And is that fan a USB, a USB fan? fan? Yes. Does that come with the yeah. USB fan? Uh, no, that's from home. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, unfortunately it's it won't run now. This bed Low. is a full, cool queen size bed. Queen size, okay, so that's nice. So pretty much what you do in the caravan 
in sleep. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's, uh, there's a lot of outdoor living. Show me the front cabinets. All right, so you've got three of them. Um, so, yeah, at this stage, all this clothing. So that's good for clothing, is the inside there, is it? Yeah, whatever you want to. I mean, it's up to you what you want to pack where. But, uh, yeah. And the left hand side one uh, is the same. Exactly the same. And then uh, you've got uh, a skylight in. Skylight, skylight, yeah. And you've also got a LED light, light with two settings on it, which what? is very what bright. Actually. Just two white settings, no. Yeah, no, no, am, no amber, no. Uh, anything else since? Yeah, so everything's fully padded. As you can see, the roof sides. So that's that's very nice. That'll cut out some yeah. sound keeping warmth as well. That is definitely, yeah. And of course, also the door closes. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, how soundproof is it inside? Well, it sounds so far, I can't say it's, it's not bad. Cuts yeah. out a bit of sound when you get yeah. in of all the yeah. birds. Yeah, and yeah. a little bit. You still, uh, I mean, you, you go to nature to listen to stuff. So. Yeah. So yeah, there's another light on this side, it's the same as that side. We've got the, the vent at the top, which you can close and open and set as you wish. And then also you can add another awning to this side. Um, right. The bracket's already there, it's just bolted on. And that's a roof rack up there, is it? Yeah, the roof rack, fully there. loaded. Uh, according to the manufacturer, you're going to put a four-man pop-up tent on top of this thing. Um, I've seen the photos of it. Yeah. But mine will be for the kayak. <laughs> Put your kayak on top, that's fantastic. How does it tow? So far, um, I tow with a very small vehicle. I'm towing it with a Jimny 1.3 uh, JB73. So that's a small engine. Very small, 1300cc. And no problems? Yeah, look, uphill you feel it, but on a normal open road, no issues. Um, the caravan only weighs 500 kilograms, um, so it's not too heavy. Um, yep. And this is a, the higher spec one, uh, the, the basic is even lighter. The brake systems and all those things add to it. Caravan towing would be fantastic if all the roads were just flat, wouldn't it? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> or downhill. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, after two days, I'm happy. Um, I noticed you cleaned it at least twice since you've got here so far. Oh, well, yesterday when I got here, it was covered in mud. Um, the, the nicest part of this thing is the ease of convenience of using it. I mean, it's within, I would say, 10 minutes of stopping at a campsite. You're ready to go. Um, cooking, making coffee, making tea, pouring yourself a drink. I mean, everything is right there. Yep. And the awning the awning is another five minutes, if, if so long. So the awning folds up into the tube? Yeah, it rolls up. This is a standard uh, flat awning. So it just poles fold into the frame and you just roll it up into the bag, the bag on top here, zip it closed and that's done. And price wise, what did it cost? Yeah, well this one as it is here with the specs I had on it is 170,000. And have you got quite a lot of extras on this one? Yeah, you pay extra for the brake system, um, bigger wheels. Mm -hmm. um, Why did you have bigger wheels put onto the rig? That's part of the 4x4 package on it. So to get over rougher ground? Yeah. And yeah, it's also part of the braking system. It's like the package they give you. So. Yes. So, yeah. And then I also changed a few things in the, in the galley. Um, because I put my own fridge in. Um, it comes with the, the stainless steel the prep bowl. And that, that's a bit different to the standard. Right. What is the cost of just a standard teardrop trailer without all the extras? I'm standing in correction. I think they started about 135. Um, somewhere there, I could be wrong. And after two days, are you happy so far? Very happy. Um, yeah, a few little nigglies we still have to sort out in the fridge, but yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> that's your fridge that they. Yeah, that's my fridge. I just had them made the space for it to the, dim to the dimensions I, was, I sent them. So they built it to your specs? Yeah, they built it to your specs. This is quite a small trailer. Is it going to fit into your lifestyle and the way you like to camp? Yeah, most definitely. Um, We've upgraded from a three, uh, three by three canvas dome tent. So yes, a lot more luxurious. Um, much easier to put up and pack up. So yeah. And you can tow it with the car. And I can tow it with the chimney. So I don't know where the two dogs are going to sleep there, but we'll sort that out. <laughs> the dogs are going to get in first, I think, and you guys are going to fit in around them. 
I think something like that. <laughs> well, I see you got the first brandy for the evening. Yeah. Cheers. First brandy for the for the evening. So, so yeah. Thank you for showing us around your lovely caravan. Only a pleasure. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.